biotechnology and risk factors the most important areas associated with biotechnology especially in the use of transgenesis are human health biodiversity animal welfare and poor communities now whenever we want to assess the risk factors we have to consider certain properties which are number one source of dna of the target gene the non target dna segment of the construct use the second most important uh, risk assessment property is the site where transgene has to incorporate into the human genome per uh, next property what is the pro product of the transgene now and how they interact with the environment with the molecules of the consumers then we have to look at the pleiotropic effects of the transgenic product as well about the possible molecular uh, changes that can occur in the transgene product and the second most important property is the tissue specificity for transgenic expression and the number of transgenic organisms and how they are interacting with the natural system now let's talk about the risk factors one by one first is the human health keep in mind that 98% of the dietary dna is degraded by the enzymes and the use of viruses as vector is very much dangerous for human health because they can uh, in integrate into the human genome and can cause cancer लेकिन जब जीन थेरेपी सिस्ट के लिए हुई यानी कि सिवियर कंबाइंड इम्यूनो डेफिशिएंसी सिंड्रोम के लिए तो पता चला कि रेट्रो वायरसेस दे आर कॉजिंग नो रिस्क ट्राइवल्स इन द पेशेंट सो मेजर रिस्क लाई इन द यूज ऑफ नोवल प्रोटीन्स दीज नोवल प्रोटीन्स और नोवल मॉलिक्यूल्स दे कैन कॉज एलर्जीज इन ह्यूमन बींग सो दिस इज वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट रिस्क फैक्टर बट द पोटेंशियल रिस्क अकर वेन द ट्रांसजीन इज इनकॉपरेटेड इन टू द जीनोम्स ऑफ द होस्ट गाट माइक्रोफ्लोरा बिकॉज सम टाइम्स द ट्रांसजेनिक माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स दे बिकम पैथोजेनिक ऑर्गेनिजम्स वेन दे एंटर इन टू द ह्यूमन बॉडी now let's come to the second risk factor which is known as biodiversity we always talk about the nature about the animals and plants we never talk about the marine or the aquatic life keep in mind that the extent of aquatic diversity is extremely large but it is poorly understood uh, now most of the people believe that there is direct or indirect effect of genetically modified fish in aquaculture but most of the people believe that there is no difference uh, between biodiversity risk from the escape of genetically modified organisms and from the fish which are genetically improved so genetic modified organisms keep in mind that they are obtained from the set of environmental circumstances by which they can take advantages conferring by the human circumstances then the third risk factor the most important is the animal welfare whenever we talk about the animal welfare we talk about the uh, those animals which are the draft animals which are used in fashion industries which are uh, used for transportation or for other purposes so we have to look at the food and the health of the animals as well now number of research work has been done on the animal welfare and researchers has observed changes in the coloration in the de uh, deformities related to the teeth then uh, deformity related to the low jaw which is known as acromegaly infertility or there is reduced viability but researchers believe that by increasing the nutritional value or by adding zinc in the diet we can solve these problems the fourth important risk factor is related to poor communities here i have not used the word poor countries because poor countries have rich communities as well as the poor communities so poor communities have increased protective attitudes by the owners so in the um, poor communities it is very necessary that gene need to be patented so otherwise general public cannot take commercial advantages from these genetic modified organisms so, uh, similarly there must be a regulatory system for the arrangement for the cultures then release uh, of uh, dietary products utilization of genetically modified organisms so these Uh, parameters should be considered and regulated in poor communities 
Fowler man uh, was a scientist and he said ke general public especially developed countries ke unhe biotechnology ki field se advantage lena chahiye especially genetic engineered products hai jo ke environmentally friendly hain this statement of fowler man encapsulated the disadvantages and benefits of the genetically modified organisms so the perception by the public is very important because they play an important role in shaping attitudes of regulatory agencies